day, I have a goal to spend zero dollars on a date. So I started by picking my date up in a Mercedes Benz. But as you know, I can't spend money on this date. This, this is, is luxury. Insane. So how did I get the Mercedes? So funny, we're actually doing a test drive right now. Wow. Less than 15 minutes before this, I requested a test drive at a local car dealership. And a bit of paperwork and a free coffee later, we started the test drive, which would conveniently pass my date's apartment building. So, is it cool if I pick up this uh, person that I'm... Yeah, that's fine. I'll be spending the day with this girl, Susie Taylor. You might recognize her from this Mr. Beast video where she lost out on winning a Tesla. That's literally my dream. And what's a better way to cheer her up than arriving in a Mercedes Benz? No way. Dude, do, do you mind if you jump in the back with me? I don't mind. All right. <laughs> I think we're ready to go back. You like so this one, right? Yeah, yeah. This guy has to be the chillest car salesman in LA. And after saying goodbye, we were off on our quest to see if a free date is even possible. Because over the course of the day, me and Susie have to complete six objectives while spending zero dollars. And this isn't on easy mode. Later, we found out a free boat ride is not safe. Fuck. Oh. And after that, we tried to get a free dinner at a five-star restaurant. I have no idea, like, this amount we can have from this place without it being kind of messed up. It's all because I'm broke. Yep, that's right, this is my backyard. What the? The objectives will get harder and harder as we move on. And right now, we need to get a free workout. Okay, guys. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, this is gonna be the best free date of all time. So, first things first, we gotta get a workout in. I'm ready for the workout. Okay. Right. That's how I start my days anyway. The plan was to start a free trial at a local gym in LA. Oh, okay. Through so a circuit. Yep. Upper, lower body. Anything? Susie? Uh, so, it's overhead walking lunges, like from the floor. Pull yourself and up. some push ups. Okay. I feel like he's just showing off now. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Holding yourself. Push up competition? I don't do push ups. Yeah, it's tough. After we finished the ripped gym guy's workout, he uh, he had some questions. So, is it getting lucky after, uh, after a day like this? Is it what? Is it getting lucky after a day like this? Is he after, did he pay you to say that? No. Some way. You're either like getting home and it's not that funny. Right. Not interesting. Or, or, or something is happening. Right. No, you're right. Yeah. It has to be free. Yeah. <laughs> Bottom line, whatever it, has to be free. whatever it is, yeah, it has to be like, free. You know, if it does the trick, pl please let me know. Okay? I'll, I'll, I'll pull that thing out. It'll be because of this gym. I feel like Brian paid him to say that, yeah, low key. What just happened? <laughs> Was that real life? <laughs> And we finished the workout by going into the cold tub. Oh my gosh, it's actually so cold. <laughs> my toes are the worst part. But we're in this water. The next mission is to get an actual pool. Okay. Oh. Next mission, we're here. At a know. secret pool. Most hotels and apartment buildings give guests access to a pool area. That was a whole lot easier than I'd expected. So the plan was to go in like we own the place and walk right to the pool. The last door did require a key card, what the fish is but luckily this dude let us in. It's very anticlimactic. It wasn't hard, you just walked in. Yeah, he like. just let us in. <laughs> and so far we have had no real issues. It made me really think maybe spending zero dollars on a date is possible, but things were about to get a lot harder. The next objective very well might be impossible. We gotta get a boat. We gotta take a boat ride in LA. There's kind of no one right here though. Crazy question for you. Any chance you'd be down to take me and her out on the water? When? Right now for zero dollars. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Do you own a boat up here? I don't know. Is this your boat? Cool. Boat. No. Oh, it's all right. And as you can tell, we were struggling, but our luck was soon to change. Do you own a boat by chance? We're looking to get a free ride on a boat. Or yeah, we're trying to get on someone's boat for fun. Yacht Club right there, at the very, very. All right, we'll check it out. Although it's just a recommendation, we were looking for any glimpse of hope at this point. <laughs> this time, we we're trying a new strategy. Instead of walking up to people, we waited at the boat entrance to propose our question. All right, I'm gonna be like, we're gonna go here. Are we really? Oh, sorry. <laughs> and this interaction left me enough time to pop the question. I have a question for you. Sure. Is there any chance we could? Flat drive out with you. I mean, this is a bus. Yeah. I think second wind's too small for all of us. Well, but yeah, I mean, sure. Why really? Not? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>
What? My name is Ami. <laughs> I'm Brian. We just met I them. Brian. Brian. Is, Brian. Where did you guys meet? Um, YouTube. We actually met on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Well, technically. Yeah. Okay. I guess. <laughs> He's bro. I'm bro. Don't got a lot of that YouTube money yet. Subscribe. <laughs> Life jackets? It's okay. I'm a lifeguard, so. Yeah. Safety never first. And this moment kicked off what ended up being the most absurd 15 minute sequence of my life. You're gonna hit the boat, Ami. Oh, you're gonna hit it. Fuck. Oh. oh my god. Okay, there's a big engine. My brother, Ami hit not just one, but two boats in the 15 seconds we've been in the water. And it did not help. He said this to me before we left. It will be your last trip. Tensions were high on the boat post-crash, but our excitement was short-lasted because of this guy. We crashed into his boat. No, it's the engine. Hold on. Yeah, so the owner of one of the boats we hit was not happy with Ami. And before I knew it, the boat guy was in a full sprint to fight our man Ami. This was gonna be an epic showdown, and we were gonna get more than we paid for, literally. It's basically like Paul V. Tyson if it actually happened. No. Suggestion is, you get you some breath mint, man, before you okay. talk to anybody. Right, like right. I, I agree with you. Yeah, all right, man. Did the breath mint? The breath mint is a roast. I can't oh After that just insane sequence of events, we were getting hungry, and we had to get a free dinner from a five star restaurant. Every good dinner date has to have a dinner. Oh. So we're gonna go around asking, hey man, do you know any good place to get free dinner? Probably not. All right, we got a restaurant here, Hi Ho Burger. All right, moment of truth. So uh, we're actually doing this quick video today. Unfortunately, we can. Okay, I do not think it's gonna work. This is the best Italian place in town, so I highly doubt it. So I'm here today, meeting you and propositioning. Can we have a free dinner here tonight? I cannot. You sure about this? Massive opportunity, huge marketing, grandstand, millions of views. I can't make that decision. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this was gonna be the hardest challenge yet because food is expensive, but luckily, I planned accordingly. Two weeks before shooting this video, I cold called over 200 restaurants in LA. A free dinner, what is the, what would you be doing? We would be eating. Did you actually? And yes, and I have a backup plan. One restaurant said they're interested, but only if they have an open table. Okay, I'll get back to you. Thank you, bye-bye. Dang it. That's our last chance. Let's go to the backup plan to get free dinner. All right, so we're here at the restaurant. It's called The Warehouse Restaurant, and this guy named Chad, one of the managers, said we could come, so let's go talk to Chad, because I don't know if this is gonna work. Super cool, this is a nice <laughs> restaurant. Look at this. Wait, this is cool. I'm nervous. Hi. Is Chad here? Hi, Susie. Susie. This Thank man, you. I called him. I called about 200 restaurants. Okay. And you are You're the, the only restaurant. Cool the cool. That was the coolest. Oh, yeah, yeah that'd be cool. There... I'm hoping they don't just bring a check out at the end. I'm a little bit scared. We have absolutely no idea how this works. Is there a spending limit? You see, we're getting free dinner. How we can have from this place without it being kind of messed up. We just so... don't know what the like. Uh, the rules are of that specifically. He said your first round of drinks and your appetizers. Okay, in that case, let's get the filet mignon. Okay. All right. <laughs> Susie likes my hat a lot, and I just, I'm gonna give it to her. It's her hat. Oh, that's nice. It's not mine anymore. Why? Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna give it to her, because she's a friend. <laughs> you do good things. Wait, are, are we on a date? Cheers. Like a lollipop. This is so good. I can't believe this is all free. Yeah, this is crazy. I only have 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> Dinner was a success. There's just one thing I want to do, though. I want to go on the... Is it called? Like, it's called the Ferris wheel, and there's a famous one on the Santa Monica Pier featured in GTA. But unfortunately, we got there too late and it was closed. This is bullshit. Clearly, it's possible to spend zero dollars on a date. Goes to show what can happen when you leave your comfort zone and simply ask people for what you want. If it does the trick, pl please let me know. Honestly, it was surprisingly fun. No, it was good. I think we had a fun time. And I ended up getting on that Ferris wheel later that night, just just not in person.